Welcome. In this presentation, we will briefly discuss venting of our high efficiency boilers. For more detailed information, please refer to the Product Installation and Operation Manual and NFPA 54 code. All of our high efficiency boilers vent very similar with possible minor differences, usually being distance from a wall to the termination or between the piping. U.S. Boiler has some cast iron products that are direct vent or power vented, and all U.S. Boiler high efficiency boilers are built and sold as direct vent boilers only. The difference is direct vent means two pipes to the outside, one being for venting the products of combustion, the other for air intake. Power vent is one pipe to the outside for venting products of combustion, and indoor air is used from the structure. As homes become tighter and boiler rooms become smaller, using outdoor air will supply the boiler with the proper amount of clean combustion air. If you are already installing power or direct vented U.S. boiler products, you are familiar with our house drawing that advises you of all the clearances to doors, windows, gravity air inlets, utility meters, and inside corners. All the information in a picture instead of having to search through the venting chapter of the I&O manual to find the information you are looking for. Many questions relate to soffits and overhangs. This question is answered in the I&O manual. First, determine how far below the soffit or overhang the vent will be and how far the soffit or overhang projects from the building. In our example, the soffit is one and a half feet and the vent will be three feet below the unvented soffit or overhang. The vent termination would be 12 inches from the wall. This chart will override the minimum distances from the venting charts. If the minimum distance from the wall is blank, you should consider moving the vent to another area or a different wall. The use of the low profile and concentric vent termination cannot be used in these applications because the vent termination cannot be extended. All the high efficiency boilers vent very similar with possible minor differences usually being distances from the wall to the termination or between the pipes. This chart shows the many options that are available in vertical and horizontal two pipe or concentric venting using existing B vent or chimney as a chase and even vertical venting using combustion air from the sidewall. All the high efficiency boilers require outdoor air for combustion. Check the venting charts in the I&O manual for minimum and maximum vent lengths and vent pipe sizes, which may change slightly due to boiler size and model. The maximum distance seen in the charts is for each of the vent and combustion air intake separately, not a combination of the two. If the distance from the chart is 130 feet, the vent pipe can be 130 feet and the air intake pipe can be 130 feet. Note. Some smaller boiler sizes may allow optional smaller diameter vent pipes. This is also reduces the equivalent feet of vent allowed. The use of smaller vent pipes may require an optional vent kit to apply the smaller sizes to the boilers. The vent lengths showing in the chart is a total of the equivalent feet of pipe of all the fittings added to the length of straight pipe. Compare the result to the vent charts under the venting section in the I&O manual. The vent kit may be an option and consists of a 30 inch piece of CPVC pipe, a CPVC close radius elbow, PVC coupling for vent termination, a 90 degree elbow for air intake termination, and two rodent screens. Starting at the boiler, use all 30 inches of CPVC pipe. When needed, you can cut the CPVC pipe and install the CPVC elbow. If the pipe was cut, use the remaining CPVC before transitioning to PVC. Be careful to remove all cutting debris and clean the cut end of the pipe. This will keep the shavings out of the burner assembly. Through the following slides, we will address the highlights of some of the venting techniques. Two pipe sidewall, even though we have a minimum of 12 inches between the vent and air intake pipes, more separation is preferred to avoid possible cross-contamination of flue gases. On all venting, it is important to pitch the vent pipe towards the boiler to allow venting condensate to drain back to the boiler. All external piping terminations must be a minimum of 12 inches above anticipated snow levels. The distance from the wall to the termination will vary at times depending on the venting type chosen. You may not vent under a deck or run the vent under the deck to the outside edge of the deck. 
the distance from the wall will exceed the maximum distance from the exterior wall of the structure. Another option to obtain greater separation to avoid cross-contamination while maintaining 12-inch minimum between the pipes is raise the vent termination up to a maximum of 7 feet vertically above the air intake exterior of the structure. Both terminations may be installed with a vertical maximum rise of 7 feet outside. Be cognizant of the distance between the pipes when exiting the wall and distance from the wall surfaces as it may be different depending on the venting option used. In this application, the maximum distance from the center line of the pipes is 12 inches, but in a two-pipe through the sidewall application, as we saw a couple of slides ago, the distance was not limited to 12 inches. Low profile venting can be installed with the vent termination on the left or the right if installed horizontally. If installed vertically, the vent termination must be at the top. Do not install the vent terminal at the bottom due to cross-contamination of the flue gases. When concentric sidewall venting, the distance from the concentric air inlet to the wall must be a minimum of one inch and a maximum of two inches. The polypropylene concentric kit includes a polypropylene to PVC adapter for the air inlet. The vent must remain rigid polypropylene back to the boiler. If we choose two pipes through the roof, the vent pipe must be 12 inches to 24 inches above the air inlet terminal. The opening of the vent should be vertical with no elbows or any other fittings installed. There is no concern of rain and snow entering the vent termination. The air intake must be 12 inches to 24 inches away from the vent and use two 90 degree elbows to terminate the air intake down to avoid getting rain into the intake termination. The termination of the air intake must be a minimum of 12 inches above the anticipated snow level. As another option of vertical venting, we can run a single pipe through the roof and the intake through the sidewall. When any type vertical venting is applied, the vent termination must be two feet higher than anything within 10 feet horizontally. Using an existing B vent for venting and air intake, Use a polypropylene flexible pipe and kit numbers referenced in the charts in the INO manual to complete the installation. PVC concentric vertical venting should be a minimum of 12 inches above average snow level. If using the existing chimney for venting, apply either a polypropylene or stainless steel flexible liner and use the sidewall for air intake. To determine the equivalent pipe length of a flexible liner, multiply the length of the liner by 1.2. Unlike using existing B vent, combustion air cannot be drawn from masonry chimneys. Refer to the INO manual for manufacturer part numbers. In closing, when the building has a multiple flue chimney, you may not use any type of plastic including polypropylene pipe. Stainless steel is required.